Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Edna and Harvey The Breakout. And when last we left off, we managed to find a pot and the laundry room that's likely not going to have anything of any importance in it. But we have to be thorough in our exploration, so it's time to go down this ladder and check out what we can interact with. It's likely going to be this pile of bags, the washing machines, and maybe this basket. I hope it's going to be that basket. Maybe that has what we need to escape. It's not likely, but it's time to find out. So we can interact with just the laundry bags and the washing machines. Fair enough, we'll start with the bags. What treasures will we find within? Just more of those uninteresting laundry bags. More of them? These are the first ones that we've seen, Edna. Or have you been seeing other ones off screen that I can't interact with? The world may never know. Hello? Anybody in there? If there is someone in there, they're not feeling talkative. This is just dirty laundry. That doesn't mean we might not have a use for it. Is there something in here we can take? Too heavy, too large, not interesting enough. No. Maybe using an item will help us find something. Harvey, can you find something in here that we want? Look, Harvey, laundry. Are those funny Halloween costumes? No, it's those impersonal hospital gowns. Then let's keep on looking. Let's do that indeed. Looking in our inventory for things to use on these. That bag's ours. We've written on it, and that makes it our property. In this panel, we see Captain Useless appearing on the crime scene with no pants on. We've had that before. I think we had that in the room where Babbitt's currently trapped. We can't get to that room, however, so we'll use this thing to get all the new interactions with all the items we've got. Like the pot holder. I don't wash my pot holders. Very much like your feet. Is that an official complaint? Hey, my nose is about three feet closer to them than yours. If you want to write an official complaint, you're going to have to use a form. We have to follow protocol here. Ketchup? Look at us messing up everything, undoing all of the work that the laundry machines have done. We are such rebel rousers, we are. So rebellious. Now let's arrest these bags. I've no idea what for, but let's do it anyway. It is kind of uniform-like, but not police uniform-like. Indeed, there isn't that much similarity between what you're wearing and a police uniform. How very observant. Time to put the pot in here. I wouldn't touch it with a ten-foot pole. You don't have a ten-foot pole. You only have a pot. What about the cup? I can't get rid of it here, I'm afraid. Why not? You put it everywhere else. Key? I'd better keep that. You probably should. Fork? I wouldn't touch it with a ten-foot pole. I think that's a different version of that line. Cutting patterns into all of these would closely resemble work. I don't want to waste my time on that. Sensible idea. You're too busy trying to escape. That's a good place for it. That it is. Time to get another one. I've lost count of how many of those I've used. Way too many is the answer. And I'm sad that we can't interact with that basket. There's literally something exceptionally important in there but the game's not letting us use. Curse you, game! Let's distract ourselves from our sadness at that by looking at the washing machine. Those are pretty big washing machines. That they are. No, I don't like dirty talk. Let's see if we can use them. It's not wash day today. How do you know that? It's not wash day today. That wouldn't stop you from picking it up. Well, the fact that it's really heavy and secured to the wall will probably stop you from doing that. But I'm still surprised that you know that it's not wash day. Harvey, do you want to go in the washing machine? Yo, Edna, your little friend is mighty dirty, ain't he? You think? Give him to me so that I can clean him up. I'll make him whiter than snow. Yee! Don't, Edna! It's a trap! Note that Harvey's mouth did not move when the washing machine was talking. 
That is a sentient washing machine. Hello, Edna. Won't you launder your pen? I don't know. Why would I want to do that? It's a hack. A dirty little hack. I don't like that tone of yours, washing machine. Yeah, you're rude. Comic book? Captain Useless's cape is red. His suit is white. Watch out, handy boy. Don't mix them in the washing machine. And then he did. Fortunately, they were non-run clothes, so everything was fine. Potholder? Hello, Edna. Give me your potholders, and I'll make them all new. What, pray tell, is the advantage of new potholders? An old potholder sullies the dish with its dirty residue. <sighs> Did you say something? I wasn't listening just now. Edna really doesn't like the washing machine, does she? No, she does not. Ah, take it away! Take it away! You don't have to worry. It's just mustard. Bad mustard seeds makes bad stains. Gollum, gollum. I did not expect a Gollum reference from interacting with a washing machine. And I wonder if we're going to get a slightly different one by using the ketchup. Ugh, take it away! Take it away! You don't have to worry. It's just ketchup. Bad ketchup. Bad hobbit. Makes bad stains. Gollum, gollum. Two different Lord of the Rings references. Curious. You're under arrest for making Lord of the Rings references. Woohoo! What's glistening so wondrously there? May I see that? Uh, no. Oh, please, give it to me. Give it to me now. Shoo, shoo, bad washing machine. You are a very nasty washing machine. Have this cup. Filth, filth, filth. Yeah, isn't that cool? Take it away, take it away, hey, hey. Very, very cool. See, Edna knows that the paper cup is cool. For all who doubt, at least she and I agree that it is awesome. That's probably the only use that it has, us agreeing that it's awesome. Would you like this cooking pot? Hey, I ain't no dishwasher. Fuh, as if there was any difference. There's not too much difference, but there is a little bit of difference. Your key looks old and rusty. Give it to me. I could make it glitter again for you. A glittering key? Fuh, where's the fun in that? You try and get it out of your pocket to open things and you get dazzled. Nobody wants to get dazzled by keys. Hey, I ain't no dishwasher. Fuh, as if there was any difference. There's only one more thing we can really use here, and that's the toenail. <laughs> they are toenails to some. To others, they are the most protein-rich screwdrivers in the world. I can't think of many other protein-rich screwdrivers. Or any. But I think we've exhausted all that we can do here. So it's time to climb back up and go down these stairs. Now, somebody's doodled on the wall with graffiti. Before we go into this door, or this door, let's look at this piece of art. Very nicely done. Indeed. Hello, Dr. Marcel? Is that you? It is so true to life. Almost real. Almost, but just a little bit away from absolute reality. Pure eye candy. <sighs> All we need is a spray can and we too can graffiti everywhere. There's a lot of wall to graffiti on in here. We'd be here all day. I can take a page or two from this guy's book. Unfortunately, we don't have pages that we can take. Harvey, what do you think? Eee! Edna, quick, hide! It's Dr. Marcel! Relax, Harv. It's just a picture. It's a very convincing picture, apparently. Can we hit it? No, this should stay clean and intact. Does that mean we're not going to be allowed to use our ketchup and mustard on it? No, this should stay clean and intact. Indeed, we're not going to be allowed to. 
What do you think about it, Captain Useless? In this panel, we see Captain Useless painting flames on the hood of the Honkmobile. Now it is 10% cooler. Potholder? Cool. Indeed. Mustard? No. That's not going to work, and I doubt the ketchup will either. We don't want to arrest this, but we're going to try anyway. It's so good, it should be illegal. The staff certainly aren't going to appreciate it when they find it, that's for sure. Pot with graffiti? It's in good taste. What about cup with graffiti? A toast to the artist. Indeed. Not that you could actually get any liquid into that paper cup, because it's that rubbish. This isn't the key to the artist's subconscious. Are you sure? Fork? No. And the knife will be the same. What about the toenail? No. Can't do anything with that either. Let's go into this door. Ooh, there are lots and lots of folders here. And a light switch. Hmm, let's look at that switch. I might be wrong, but I think this controls the neon lamps. It may do. Let's ask it just to be sure. Howdy, Switch. You little bit of... little bit of technology? It's not very talkative. Can we pick it up? This is not a remote control. It's a light switch with cable and everything. I can see the cable. It's a very spiffy cable. Let's use it. Whoa, pretty dark. Very dark. The only thing we can interact with is the light switch or the form. So let's see what we can do in the dark with the light switch. I might be wrong. Probably not a lot, so let's use it again to, uh, illuminate everything. Good idea! Great idea! Otherwise, we'd be staring at a blank screen forever. Let's try and use our items on this. Look, Harvey! A light switch! Careful! It could be a trap! Now, a fair few of these are gonna be the same, but we do have a lot more items than we did before. Like the potholder. Relax, Edna. You can simply flick the switch by hand. That is the same as other interactions. What about the mustard? It only eats electricity. Huge amounts of it, admittedly. It needs to be more energy efficient, that does. Let's arrest it for not being energy efficient. It's not against the law to leave the lights on. Wasteful, but still legal. Very wasteful. What about the pot? It only eats electricity. Nothing new there? What about the cup? Now, what was the deal again? You are or you aren't supposed to stand in a bucket of water while changing a light bulb? <laughs> Does that even matter? Since when did we start following instructions? For reference, don't stand in a bucket of water when doing stuff with electricity. It's very dangerous. Relax, Ed. Nothing new there? And I don't think these will have anything new either, but I'll give them a try. Relax. Yep, nothing new there. We have a note and a postcard. We'll start with the note. This says, the moon falls down to Earth. That's a bit worrying. That's very worrying. That's either a cryptic bit of foreshadowing for the end of the game, or it's the solution to a puzzle. I hope it's the latter. What does this mean? The moon falls down to Earth. Who would write such a thing? Isn't there a handbook for that? Or secondary literature? Probably, but we don't have access to it. This says, the moon falls down to Earth. That's a bit worrying. It is. Can we take it? I don't want to collect that. It's because it says, the moon falls down to Earth. That's a message better left down here in the basement. The game keeps referencing that phrase. It's probably important. What do you make of it, Harvey? The moon falls down to Earth? Creepy. Very much so. All right, Polo Mallet. I'll just ignore this suggestion. Why? Why don't you want to hit it with the Polo Mallet? It would be fun. This wouldn't change the message one bit. That it wouldn't. Also, every time I'm using something here, Edna looks to the right 
for just a brief moment. Curious. And I can't use that without trying again. In this panel, we see Captain Useless pinning a post-it note to his fridge. We're out of milk. Buy two gallons. This sounds like a new exciting task for Handy Boy. New task, yes. Exciting task, no. I'll just ignore this suggestion. Are you going to ignore every suggestion? I'll just ignore this suggestion. Why would you not want to put ketchup on this? Can we arrest it for saying something that's sinister and foreshadowing? I'll just ignore- No, we can't do anything with this. Can we even use the paper cup? I'll just ignore- Wow, we found something that we really can't do anything with. You know what? We're going to look at the postcard instead. A postcard from Vladvakistan. Look here. The foreign minister postmarked the stamp with his own incisors. Are you sure that was the person that did that? I don't think it was. How's the weather in Vladvakistan? Meteorologically ambivalent. Oh. We learned something about there today. Postcards are pretty useless. No, they're not. They're quite awesome. Can I take it? It doesn't have my address on it. That doesn't mean you can't take it. What do you make of it, Harvey? Can we go to Vladvakistan? Please! Maybe after we've escaped. Yippee! It's probably a long way away. That would probably be an adventure all its own. When I've gotten out of here, I'll write Dr. Marcel a postcard from freedom. Just don't put the return address on there. Return address, freedom. It won't even have a postcode. In this panel, we see Handy Boy stamp envelopes for a press release. What's the press release for? So much information not given to us. My memories are vague and lukewarm. I don't need potholders. Are you sure? They're in our inventory. Probably means we need them. No. Nobody has the right to destroy memories. How about giving them a little zest? Sounds good, but no. Ah, this is the same situation as trying to use things on the pictures in Dr. Marcel's office. Each item has a different line from Harvey. No. Nobody has the right to destroy memories. How about enriching them with a little tomato flavor? Nope. No indeed. What about the police badge? There should be a law against willful erasing of memories. Isn't there already one? I don't know. If so, I can't remember. There probably is. What about the pot? No. Nobody has the right to destroy memories. How about putting them on the back burner to simmer? That's closer, but still no. She's very adamant about this. What about the cup? Every memory is as precious as gold. Even the memory of a vacation in Vladvakistan. What's that got to do with using a cup on it? This postcard is not the key to my memory. Indeed it's not. And I accidentally clicked over here, so now she's staring at you. Staring into your very soul. Gaze upon her eyes and be judged. Let's use the fork. No. Nobody has the right to destroy memories. How about slicing through them with penetration insight? Nope. I imagine the knife and fork are going to have the same interaction, so let's use the toenail. No. Nobody has the right to destroy memories. How about scratching the surface of vague recollections? Nope. We've had that one, but I wanted to check just in case I missed it the first time round. Finally, Polo Mallet. No. Nobody has the right to destroy memories. How about giving memories a small dent? Nah. No, indeed. We have a form here that we can look at. This is a registration for group therapy. Ooh, that sounds important. I don't need therapy. I'm in the best mental shape imaginable. Do you hear me, you piece of paper? I'm in the best imaginable mental shape. I'm sure you convinced it. First, have it signed by the patient's attending psychiatrist. Then show it to the therapist on the day of the seminar. Oh, okay. We're going to need that, I think. Ew. I'm allergic to paperwork. 
I'm not surprised. Polo mallet? You can't write with a mallet. It smears the ink. You're just not trying hard enough. Let's use the pen. This has to be signed by the responsible psychiatrist. In my case, that would be Dr. Marcel. And we're going to need his signature, which means we're going to have to learn how to forge his signature. Ah, it's all coming together. Still don't know what we need the form for, but at least we have a purpose for forging that signature. If we can find a way to do so. In this panel, we can see Captain Useless's shrink crying. Why? Perhaps we'll never know. Wait a second. Yes! I've got pot holders, and here, I've got this blank form. Why don't I just combine them and make something completely new? I could make the best nothing of all time. Well, why don't you? We want the best nothing. Why wouldn't we want the best nothing? You're not gonna do it, are you? Darn it. Is this a mustard stain on the blank form? It is now. This registration for therapy is sealed in blood. Or ketchup. Close enough. I bet my authority as a member of the police force will get me into therapy. Well, if the stories are true, that might be inevitable. Let's use... Not the cornflakes. That'll just get us to eat them. Let's use the pot. We could put the form in there. I wonder if there's a pot luck at group therapy. I think you're confusing group therapy sessions with high school parties. What's the difference? Um, hard to tell. I certainly couldn't tell you. Let's use the cup. I wonder if they separate their waste during group therapy. I think you're confusing group therapy with the hippie commune. What's the difference? Um, people don't argue about whose turn it is to do the dishes in group therapy. Or do they? They may do. This is not the key to mental sanity, that's for sure. It's a form. It could be used for something, but it's not going to be used for that. We can't use that on the first click. Let's click again. We don't need therapy. We have a fork. Can't poke any holes in that reasoning. That is a fantastic line. We don't need therapy. We have a fork. Perfect. I don't need therapy. I'll cut up the blank form. Yeah! Snippity snip, snippity snap! And after that, we'll cut open our abdominal walls! Yippee! What's wrong? Why are you hesitating? Um, I think I'd rather keep the blank form. Yeah, I don't think I want to do what you suggested there, Harvey. It's not a good idea. I wonder if they have tips for toenail care in the therapy session. Come on, Edna! It's group therapy! Of course, they'll be talking about proper foot care. Have you ever been to any group therapy? I certainly haven't, but I can't imagine that being the primary piece of conversation. Finally, let's try and take the form. I have a feeling we're gonna need this. Yes, we are. Which means we can use it on the cornflakes. I wonder if they have snacks in group therapy. I think you're confusing group therapy sessions with cocktail parties. What's the difference? Um, people generally sit during group therapy sessions. They do tend to stand at cocktail parties, that's for sure. And when we come back, folks, Edna will continue to stare into your soul as we look at the other things in this room, like the folders and the folder cabinet. Perhaps the two are linked. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.